I want, you know what I want to hear about? I want you to talk about, to me about this game, specific game. Greece. Yeah. Greece, Slovenia. Which one? Yeah, I got, I got, I play against Greece many, 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 games, many, many times. And I got some bad memories, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay. Let's go from the ba- good memories for us and bad memories for you. Let's oh, say. okay. Like that. <laughs> let's, let's start like this. Okay. I know, I know where you're going. 2007. 2007. Spain. You remember this? Euro basket. You remember this game? Yeah, that, of course I remember. That was my uh, second year that I played for a national team. Um, first year was 2006 World Cup. I didn't mm-hmm. play because I was, you know, first time young. And oh, you was young? Okay. You I was young. And then uh, 2007 Euro basket. Yes. Um, that was then I was getting some minutes, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. I played with the mask. Ah. Because I broke my nose, and uh, one of your, one of uh, we played the tournament before Eurobasket. We played tournament in Athens, Acropolis tournament. Acropolis tournament. Yeah, and uh, um, what was the point guard? Uh, Papa, uh, he played for CSK. Papa Lucas. Papa Lucas, yes, Papa Lucas. I uh, I died for a ball, and he slipped. And hit me with his knee straight to my nose. So I remember in Athens, I went to but hospital. But uh, Thoris, what are you doing, man? He slipped. Slipped. No, he oh, did. He, he slipped. He slipped. He slipped oh, okay, okay, and okay. hit me straight in, into my face, my nose. Broke my nose three times. Went to the hospital, and uh, that was like uh, two months, month and a half before your basket. Your basket. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and then yeah we played but that was quarterfinals Eurobasket we play yes. against Greece again and we were up what I would say 13 14 points two, I remember two minutes and 30 seconds left of the game and we lost that game it, <laughs> it's, it's crazy man <laughs> but you know what's so crazy I remember that I was out with my like Pompal and my brother and I remember we were selling some stuff we had yeah. to work somewhere. And was watching the game while we were selling some. St- it was on TV, so yeah, we yeah. like sports bars and like you know, sold different things, items, and and we'd watch the game. And we'd be like, oh look, look, oh we're down, you know. And then, then we went home, and yeah. we saw that we were winning the game, yeah, we won the game. So it was incredible, In- incredible. I, I remember you guys uh, uh, was playing uh, full full press, zone press on the full court, and we couldn't go through half court like turnover by turnover, turnover. And then you guys make a three layup, a three, and it was unbelievable. We couldn't, we couldn't make a pass. And that, that's how we lost uh, and go home. Oh my God, bro. And we had, I, I can't remember, I think I didn't kind of remember. Last and time. it was uh, Zizis. Zizis, Zizis, yes. uh, Papaluka, Spanulis, and, Spanulis <laughs> Borussis. Uh, you, you guys have a squad, I think. If I'm not mistaken, you guys want a medal that they might, that might, might, maybe. might have. Yeah, that, that I, year I don't too. know. It's a golden era of basketball, you know, for us. So, for people who don't know, an audience like these guys are like legends. Yeah. That uh, Goran is talking about. But uh, it's fun memories. But this, you know, games like this actually made us want to play basketball. You know, okay. games like this changed the trajectory for like small countries yeah. like, like us, you know. And I believe that. The same thing happened for you guys as well, like 2017, when you guys uh, won with with yeah. you, Luca, Eurobasket in uh, in Turkey. In Turkey, Istanbul, yeah. In Istanbul. Like you said before, we had the group stage in Finland. Um, yeah, that, that year was magical. I mean, that was the first gold medal in our country history, any sports. Any sports, so. You cannot, do, you cannot buy this. No, no, yeah. How, I mean, and... <laughs> You know, it was a perfect nine games. Like, we won all nine games. Luka just came. You know, we were always in Slovenia. We always had a good basketball players. But the chemistry was never yes. right. You know what I mean? Yes. At, at one point, we have uh, eight NBA players in the league. And it's only two million people. You know, that's huge. That's huge. And uh, now we always, we were always like, you know, you had like Spain, Greece, Serbia, France, Tho- those four teams, they were always, you know, favorites to win uh, uh, medals. And then we were always in the tier beneath that, you know, from fifth to eighth, you know? Yes. And uh, we, we never could uh, jump 
over the hump. You know, we would all play quarterfinals and we would always lose. And uh, yeah, finally we got a right mix of players, change of generation, new coach, and everything was magical. So, right, I, yeah. I can only imagine. I hope I get to the only, the only, the only bad thing was my brother didn't play. Ah, yeah, he he played the qualification for Eurobasket, and then he hurt his knee ACL. Oh man! And he couldn't be on that um, Eurobasket, and unfortunately. For him, we won, you know, and that was something that, and you know, I, I still feel really bad because, you know, he deserves to to be part of the team because he helped and he did come on the stage with us, yes. uh, you know, when we leave the trophy, but that was uh, painful, you know. It is, it is. I, you, I mean, I get, I understand exactly the feeling. I understand exactly the feeling. Would you say, obviously, you haven't uh, won an NBA championship uh, yet, Yet. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but uh, would you say that uh, it's one of the best feelings, like basketball, like fulfillment for you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, first of all, you represent your country, your people. You know, Slovenia give me everything. I got friends there, family. I grew up there, finished school there, learned my first basketball steps there. So yes. it's, it's something that as a kid, you always dream to win the medals, you know, of trophies. And that was huge. I mean, that that was something that uh, uh, I always dreamed of. Of course, was was tough, but in the end we did it. And, and it was, was unbelievable. I still remember, I still remember when we won and we came back home, it was raining, it was a bad weather. Yes. But people came out on the street, it was like, you know, 50, 40,000 people was unbelievable. 